Starship Weekly Recap on How to Space. Starship survived Flight 10. But wait, why did Starship turn bright orange? Let's check it out in just a second. The test flight went great. Even with one engine failing during ascent and a flap nearly melting in a plasma bath on re-entry, Starship stayed in full control and even deployed test Starlink satellites for the first time. But what's going on here? Most likely, it's ablation and some oxidation. At extreme heat, the material slowly burns away and reacts chemically. It's normal to see some coloration after re-entry, but this time it was much more intense than usual. A camera in a kiddie pool floating in the middle of Indian Ocean? That's how this incredible Starship landing was captured. Elon Musk even said, this looks fake, but it's real. Fans reacted quickly. And in this amazing footage, you can see Starship performing its belly flop and softly touching down on the Pacific Ocean. Elon also shared more details about the colors on Starship's heat shield. The orange hue came from a few metal tiles installed across the belly, while the white near the top was due to insulation. You will not believe how many tanker trucks it takes to fill a fully stacked Starship. First, let's check Falcon 9. It takes 13 full trucks of fuel. Very nice. So how about Starship? What do you guess? Double? Triple? Almost there. Starship actually needs 230 of these trucks. Holy cow. Altogether, we are talking about 4,500 metric tons of fuel, and that is so impressive. We're taking a proper look at these shiny new fins, and in just a moment, you'll find out the surprising reason why SpaceX decided to cut their number from four down to just three. So, what exactly are grid fins? Grid fins were originally developed in the 1950s by Soviet engineers for use on ballistic missiles. These mesh-like wings were designed to provide stability and control at high speeds and temperatures. SpaceX first used them on its Falcon 9 rocket in 2015, and since then, they have become a key component in their pursuit of reusable rockets. But if grid fins already do their thing, why bother changing them? Want to see the whole thing? Check out our YouTube channel, How To Space. Link in bio or in the comments.